got a lot of emails lately about, you know, I've seen you talk about FLIR and infrared thermography um, and recommending buying a FLIR 1, but, you know, how do I actually use a FLIR 1? It's not like a soil moisture probe. I just stick it in the ground, push a button, and get a number. It's, and there's a little bit more to it, uh, but the amount of data you get is also a lot greater. If you use a soil moisture probe, stick it in the ground, you only see that one spot. This FLIR, though, it takes a little bit more to use. You scan your green, scan your tee or approach, and you see every single little spot, and that's actually a temperature reading. So we get a lot more data, and we can use our brain to then figure out where I should put my TDR probe. So in this uh, little quirk turf info today, I really want to talk about how do we actually use this properly to look for hot spots in our turf grass. So people ask, you know, first of all, how does this thing actually work? How do I plug it into my phone? Well, there's two different types. There's one for my Android phone. There's also one for the iPhone. And the only difference is the fitting. So instead of it being the uh, micro USB, it's the uh, FireWire cord. So to use it, it's got its own internal battery, so it needs to be charged up. And then you just plug it into the bottom of your phone. And when you kick it on, it's gonna automatically load up to the, uh, the software. So to use this app, we plug it in, turn it on, and open up the FLIR 1 app. It loads pretty quickly, and it comes to our first infrared uh, image. And the first thing we're going to want to do is find that wet spot onto a green and lock the temperature around that wet spot. So we're going to push the uh, little gear there, and then we're going to push lock. And that way it keeps the temperature scales from bouncing around. We can also change the, uh, the uh, color scheme, so we want something that you know looks like this. We can change to a more rainbow. We can change to a lava. It's really user choice, whatever you like the best. One of the cool things about the uh, FLIR 1 technology is you'll notice it's got two images kind of ghosted on top of each other. And, and that's great because you have both a thermal image and a visual image super laid on top of each other so it's easy to really see what you're looking at. So first thing we do now, we're back in the field. So we're going to go to our spot on our green or our turf grass we know is well watered and we're going to lock the temperature scale right around that temperature. And that's a really important thing, that's why I like the FLIR 1 because I can lock my scale. And then when I pan around, anywhere that's hotter than that well watered, you know, low spot that you know is wet is going to stand out very red. And so if you look over here in this drought control, yeah, it's very uh, red and yellow. Over here we have a little more water, a little bit more purple, well watered. You know, a darker purple, again, showing it's cooler, it doesn't need any moisture. And so we use these probes to then scan around our green, we can find those hot spots, and then we bring our TDR probe, stick it in the ground, and we confirm that yes, it's low on soil moisture. Because you got something like a root disease that would it be hotter because it can't take up water, the soil may be uh, pretty wet, and so adding more water is probably gonna just make the disease worse. So what are some best management practices for using your FLIR 1 on your golf course. Well first, it has to be sunny outside. This is a tool you use in full sun. It's not a tool you use at 5 in the morning or 6 in the morning. And so that would be the first thing to, to keep in mind. Uh, second would be that there's slope issues, kind of with the sun angle and the importance of the sun. If you have a slope that is facing the south, it's going to get more direct sunlight, therefore it's going to be a little bit hotter than a slope that faces to the north or is flat. So you have to be a little bit smarter than your, your sensor there, and then use your TDR probe. If it looks a little hotter, probe it. If it looks good, okay, you're great. It's just hotter because it's more into the sun. The third thing to remember is taller mown grass is generally going to be a little bit cooler because it's got a little bit more surface area to transpire water away. So our CR greens are going to be hotter than our fairways. So if you're going to go measure greens and then do approaches, you have to reset your temperature scale on the cool spot on that approach. So in conclusion, I really think that this FLIR 1 is really a must-have tool for your golf course management. Uh, it's not really expensive, it's about $250. I know it's hard to get the Android right now, I know the, the, uh, the iPhone version is a little bit more readily available. Um, so you have some partners out there that you can buy these, these, these from, Amazon.com, you can get them from TurfView, uh, and I think they're you know, a very effective tool. If you're a hunter too, it's also got a good secondary benefit, you can help find those animals with this technology again. So there's a lot of reasons to use this technology, I'd really, really recommend that you give it a shot, it's not worth, it doesn't cost too much, it's worth that little bit of risk. I think you're really going to like it.